All right, you guys, uh, we are back. Last car that I own on the property, this uh, 2004 Subaru Forester XS. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder boxer engine. Yeah, this is actually not the oldest, but this is like the second hardest work vehicle I have had. And only topping that was my 2005 Hyundai Elantra GT, which before the head gasket blew back in 2020, got up to 330,000 miles. I missed that car. But this one was my mom's old work vehicle, and it's almost up to 250,000 miles. And this car is amazing. As old as it is, a pain in the ass sometimes it is to work on, it is still smooth as silk. And I'll show you that in just a bit. But as you can see, we're going back to 5W30 for the oil. So let's get it propped up and get started. All right. So, yeah, I was a bad boy and I have not changed this Forester's oil in about two years. I know it looks really bad. I can't even get the camera to focus properly. But yeah, it's got a lot of sludge. But despite that, as well and as beautifully smooth as this car runs, it is amazing. But yeah, so you're going to need a 11 sixteenths to get this little nut off right here. See if I can do it without making a mess and see how much comes out. All right. Eh, not terrible. You can still see some red from the high maintenance. That's the color of this oil. But yeah, it is. You can definitely tell. Almost looks like blood. <laughs> All right, so let's get you back on there. There we go. All right, now this thing. Oh, God. All right. All right, so it's stuck on there, so I'm going to get one of these tools to get on there and clamp it off. Oh, as you can see, I had to crush the damn thing. Yep. So another reason why you want to change your oil... <laughs> At least once a year because they will stick. Oh, yep, and I forgot to wear gloves. Oh, God. But yeah, it's a messy, messy business. Yeah, I completely fucked up this filter, but ugh, it is what it is. And there's the new filter. Yep. All right, let's uh, fill this girl back up. All right, so you guys know I always use Mobile One, Mobile One 5W30. Yep. The only reason that I don't change this oil as much as I should is because this car really does not see any action. The truck gets more action than, than the Subaru does. This is actually my backup car when if something happens with my Camry, or back then when I had the Elantra. But yeah. It, this car is just so damn reliable. And you would think that... And I'll, I'll let you know. So when I turn this car on every time, it smokes, it stinks. Um, the air conditioner doesn't work. There's... Um, there's gaps in the in the sunroof and in the the door, so condensation's always fogging up the windows. Uh, yeah, it, it is kind of insane, but despite that, this car still runs like a clock. So we're gonna put that back on for right now. Get it off the ramps. Find out where we are and top off. All right, and that looks good. That's what you want. I know it's not going to show up on camera, but there are two little dots here. It has an F and an L. You want that to be right there. You don't want to overfill. You could destroy your engine doing that. 
So, quick big, uh, quick story. Last year, I replaced the coils and the spark plugs on this thing. Pretty much the spark plugs were covered in sludge. Oil, God knows what it was. This car still ran great. And the only reason I changed the spark plugs is because I wanted to. It would give me something to do. When I got the coils, I had to go back twice because the first time I typed in this Subaru, I just typed in Subaru 2004 Subaru Stu 2004 Subaru Forester XS. It gave me the wrong type of coils. For some reason, this car itself is classified as a truck. I don't know why. It's a Japanese car. So the coils are very different. Always type in your VIN number if you're not sure. Especially Advanced Auto, AutoZone. But yeah. And as you can tell right now, this car is starting to quiet down. Everything's cycling through. The engine is not shaking whatsoever. This car is, a, is an amazing, immaculate shape, no matter what it looks like underneath. More than likely, those spark plugs I put on there are covered in sludge again. Um, I try to at least run this car once a week because by doing nothing the battery just gets drained and there's only so many times that you can have that charged but let's close her up take her for a spin so yep as you can see we got 24 99 61 miles so this car will probably hit 25,000 this year yep the it, it is not overheating are that the wind uh, there's no air conditioning it's getting pretty warm there is a bit of a wheel bearing problem in the back but we've had that for over a decade and like I said this car really does not get a lot of action anymore it has retired it is my backup car in case anything goes wrong with the Camry um, but yeah otherwise still great beautiful day but yeah, feels, I mean, I can take my hand off the wheel. It does not move. Probably the brakes will have to be done eventually. But the year's still young. And as we get up here to the stoplight, we're going to stop and see what it's like in idle. But yeah, I mean nothing it's not shaking at all it is it still surprises me to this day how amazing this car feels after all these years and i know that subaru's had a lot of problems with their six cylinder engines but their four cylinders i mean are just top notch and we can i don't want to push her too far but yeah it, it's got a good acceleration not like the scion the Elantra, the Camry. I mean, it's a big vehicle. But, can't complain. And it has a great sound and it's quiet. Well guys, there you have it. 2004 Forster XS. Yep. I mean, I can smell it now. It is burning. It is getting some sludge somewhere. But yeah, it's just going to do that. It's an old vehicle. Runs like a clock quiet as hell. I, I've had people at work ask me if the car is even on when I'm trying to detail it sometime. And I'm like, yeah, it's on. Can't even tell. Amazing. Kind of wish the Elantra had done the same thing. If this thing ever goes, and more than likely my old Dodge over there will go before this car does, I'd like to get an Outback, an older Outback. I'm not really a fan of the cross treks, But yeah, if you're a fan of Subaru, nothing wrong with an old Subaru that's, you know, been a good workhorse after all these years. Well, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.